Hi, welcome to another NTN Insider video. I'm your host, David. Today, we're gonna to tell you how to properly install a set screw locking Sentinel series bearing unit. Here to help me out is Brian from NTN. How you doing today? Good, David, how are you? I'm doing great. So first question, of course, what is a Sentinel series bearing unit? So the NTN Sentinel series bearing unit is a mounted unit that either comes in a thermoplastic, a stainless steel housing. It has a stainless steel insert, it has a food grade lubricant with protective covers. Now these units are designed for applications with water spray that typically corrode standard bearings, giving us longer bearing life and reduced maintenance. Well, wow, so this sounds like a significant amount of time savings for those maintenance personnel out there. So we are gonna go ahead and get started, but first, as always, we are going to put on our appropriate PPE. I do encourage you at home to always make sure that you wear the appropriate PPE. All right, take it away. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to inspect the shaft, make sure that there's no contamination, no nicks or no burrs on the shaft. So how does it look? Looks good. Okay. Secondly, what we want to do is we want to take the bearing and make sure the bearing is ready for the application to be applied. Uh, by doing this, we want to make sure the set screws are actually not protruding through the bore of the bearing, and they might bind up on the shaft when we go to install it. Yeah, it looks ready. It looks ready. Okay. Next, what we want to do is we want to check the surface area where the bearing is going to be mounted. We want to make sure that it's flat and even. If it's not flat and even for any reason, we're going to have to put some shims underneath it to actually even that out so we have a flat surface. Looks pretty good though, right? Yeah, agreed. Okay, so now we're ready to mount this bearing up. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take the bearing and we need to put our inboard cover on. It's going to be opposite the side with the set screws. And we're going to actually set it into the housing, and we're going to use our dead blow hammer to actually knock that into place and tap it into place. All right. I'll give you that. Put you to work here. Yeah, I know. Jeez. There we go. That cover is on. And with that on there, we're ready to actually install this bearing into position. So we'll slide it onto the shaft. Let me lower this down into position. So that's where we can actually mount that bearing. And now what we're going to do, I'm going to hand you one of the mounting bolts. And if you can help me, we're going to put these mounting bolts in here and actually tighten down the bearing. Okay. I'm catching up at your way. <laughs> and we'll just snug them for now. Got it. All right. Now the bearing is ready to be completed on the installation. Super, so what is next? So next we're gonna take, we're gonna actually set it to, to the shaft. We're gonna actually take our inch pound torque wrench. Uh, every single bearing comes with the appropriate torque settings per size of the bearing in the box. So we're gonna look up for this size bearing what the appropriate or maximum torque setting is for the set screws. And we're gonna actually take our torque wrench and then torque the set screws down into position. Got it, so quick question, why a torque wrench? Well, the reason why we use a torque wrench is because the torque wrench allows us to get the maximum torque ratings. Mm -hmm. If we have an overzealous maintenance tech that might be uh, tightening these down as hard as they can tighten down, potentially we're doing damage to that insert in the bearing that we just installed, causing us more downtime, which we don't want to have. We don't want that. All right, so this makes sense to me. Are we done? Almost. One last thing we have to do. We have to put the outboard cover on. And since you ah. did such a good job with the inboard, I'm going to let you take care of the outboard too. So again, we grab a dead low hammer and we just tap that into place. And it's snug into place. I'm improving, see? Now this bearing is actually ready to run. Super. Now what we would do is on the opposite side of the shaft, we would install the other bearing exactly like we did this one, making sure that we mirror all the steps and also making sure that the set screws on that bearing are mirrored to the position that these set screws are in relationship to the shaft. The reason why we're doing that is to reduce any type of excess vibration that might be caused from offsetting the set screws that could potentially cause this bearing to wear quicker and prematurely fail down the road. Right, we don't want that. No. All right, well, there you have it. That is how to install a set screw locking Sentinel series bearing unit. Thank you so much, Brian. You did a great job. Thank you for having me again. Of course. Well, that about does it for this NTN Insider video. Head over to ntnamericas.com to watch more. I'm your host, David. Hope to see you there.